Yo, what's up crew? Welcome back to the show. It's your partner, Jess Mike, and this was our final game, I believe, of the regular season. Was a nail biter, came away with the W, and I just wanted to show you guys some highlights from this game. This game was all over the place, but some of the highlights, uh, we got this game started, you know, and then we got an interception, but I actually tried to do a lurk, and this should have been a really good lurk, with uh, Shea McClellan. This is NFL mover Shea McClellan. And as you can look at this play, I'm going out to pursue. I turn around and I try to get this guy coming back on a crossing route. Get this almost lurk, dude. McClellan almost gets this, dude. He almost gets this. But look what happens. <laughs> Shazier right there for the pickup. I think it was on the ground, but they gave it to me anyway. That was definitely probably on the ground. Let's take a look. Let's see if it was on the ground. Cause I think it was on the ground, but they gave it to me. Oh, he trapped it with his foot. So I don't know if it was on the ground or his foot. It looks like it's on the ground, but it looked like it was trapped by his foot. And uh, they gave it to me, man. I thought we would be able to turn around and take it back in, but you know, we got stuffed right there. And then uh, we go ahead and go in for the six yard touchdown rush. And uh, listen, man, this guy, was blowing up my run all game and I couldn't really get anything super started now this was the most bumbling play if this is not EA trying to level the playing field they definitely tried to pay me back for that fumble right now you look at I mean for that interception now you look what happened here Emma Smith gets the ball right now we get the break but JJ Watt just gets tripped over by Bryant now watch the domino effect another fall <laughs> look at this man i mean come on man like he couldn't jump over the guy like everybody else and then he falls subsequently Emmett smith looked like he was taking it back man but luckily enough stefan gilmore just comes in and knocks this guy to the ground but that was just a crazy play and then moving on to the second quarter let's see what we got here okay we got, oh yeah, this pass was crazy, man. I thought I had defended this pretty good. And I think it was a 1v1, but he somehow came down with the ball. And you know this animation, instant teabag animation. And it was nothing we could really do, man. Nothing we could really do on this one. But uh, we kind of gets even. We kind of get even, right? Now watch this, man. This guy was trying to be great. I would have just ran it here, but he was trying to be great on the slant. Vontae is not having any of it. And I thought we was going to take this back to the house, but subsequently he did a football move, a spin. Almost got free, but we got taken down. Now going in. Another. He gets the ball back. And Emmett Smith just comes through. And he gets a great ceiling block. And that's it. I mean, he basically walks into the end zone. <laughs> and what else here? What else happened? Oh, yeah. Woodson picked me off. I'm trying to go deep. But I threw it into coverage, man. And then they just come up with it. A one-handed catch. I thought I had, I thought I had caught it for a second. Because right there, I thought I had came down with it, but uh, apparently I didn't. And then they just showed that he had possession of the ball after that. And well, we was we was on this guy heels, though. This guy really wasn't able to do anything. Like, as you see, he punted the ball. And then this happened. Like, this was a great play. I was thinking about trading, I mean, selling Irvin. After this play, I'm not going to do it. It's just this guy makes so many good plays, so many good catch animations. Look at this. Right over Ronnie Lott, dude. <laughs> just right over Ronnie Lott, and then it takes it in, bro. <laughs> takes it in, and then he breaks the tackle, right? Charles Woodson. Breaking Charles Woodson tackle and takes it in. And Brian Dawkins couldn't catch up to him. This guy's a great player. I think I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna really sell this dude. I think I'm gonna keep him until the end of month, man. To be honest with you. Uh, what else did we get here? Okay, going in here. I 
think that was it. It was just a lot of good defensive stops. And let's see here. This was a good play. We set it up. And we just get a one a sick one handed catch. In my, I've never seen that animation before, man. Sick one handed catch by Emmanuel Sanders. And if he could have just turned around with that, we definitely could have got a score off of that. Subsequently, after that, we try to be great, man. And I didn't get any animation. On this interception, I did not get an animation, man. I thought that we were gonna get this, but I didn't get an animation. I really didn't. I mean, he just basically, I mean, he didn't even jump for it. You know what I mean? And subsequently, Ty Law, short self, gets it over uh, Irvin. I don't know how that happened, but, I mean, maybe I should have pressed aggressive catch. And as you can see here, basically, he has to punt it. Cause, and then at this time, he got upset. He sent me a hate mail. He sent me a hate message, definitely. And we respond with this. This is all rookie Omari Cooper. He basically gets a little separation, right? And then breaks that tackle, man, and goes in. And I, I was so happy when I got this touchdown, bro. Like, <laughs> I was like, yes. Finally getting some separation against this guy. And uh, trying to go for two. I kept trying to go for two all game. And then we get into the fourth quarter. And this guy was trying to run. This guy was trying to run with Steve Young. Like, the defense we were doing was really simple defense, but it was just locking him up, man. And as you can see, J.J. Watt, I think that's J.J. Watt. Yeah, J.J. Watt finally coming up for me, man. Finally seeing this guy get some productivity, man. Um, Really didn't hear anything from Malik Jackson this game, one of our other new acquisitions. And then he just kept trying to run it, man. He kept trying to run it. As you can see, a 10-yard rush, a 5-yard rush. So he felt like he can keep running on me with, with Young. And, of course, Ron, Young is known for doing that in real life. So I kind of was, like, waiting for it on this time. And I felt like he was tired. But I felt like he was going to try to do it one more time. He tries to go and be great again and run. And we just basically get a strip fumble, man, and recover that. And I knew that that was coming. I knew it was just a matter of time before that was going to happen. And keep in mind, this guy was getting hit. Like, Steve Young was getting hit all game, and he wouldn't cough it up. And on that play, he actually coughs it up. Now, this one, he gets the ball back. I'm trying to be great. And what I thought was that this guy was going to continue to come up, and I was going to hit this guy on a quick curl cut pattern but he just basically I guess he probably pressed ball hawk got that pick off man but subsequently after that we lock up on D alright he gets a lot of drop uh, passes but then on 4th and 10 man I don't know what happened here I just I don't know man I just kind of like blanked out he did a quick slant pattern and this guy was wide open, man. I thought this was going to be a touchdown, but luckily, my guys got there before he was able to get into the end zone. And that was a really big play for us, actually. And like I said, and after that, you can see, man, more of the same. We just locking this guy up, sack for nine yards. And this was happening all game, dude. Like, all game. <laughs> Watt was just basically wreaking havoc on this kid. And as you can see, he basically was able to kick the ball for a field goal. And then we just basically run the ball out. And I did. I didn't want to punt the ball because I didn't want anything to happen. So I just did a field goal. I didn't just press anything. I really didn't care. I just wanted the time to run out. But, yeah, man, this was a crazy game. Got the victory 13 to 19. Well, 19 to 13. And uh, now we're moving into the playoffs. We finished with, I believe, a... Uh, nine and what is it? No, I'm sorry, it wasn't a nine, it was, I think we're seven and three or something like that. But uh, let's see what, what we are. Actually, we can see, I have to wonder. Let's see what we are. I think we move into the playoffs now. They said win one more game to get to the playoffs, which means I think we get an automatic promotion to all Madden first string as well. So I think we're back up. 
to the first string and let's see here let's give me my coins okay we finish the season okay and we get a season three badge okay that's pretty cool man I think we only need one more badge to get that veteran and they still have these eggs bruh bruh come on now seasons pro let's add this to the set I don't think we need just one more and we will get us a, a thing okay now what is this uh, oh this this set is still open oh this set is still open no why would you give somebody this and you can't that's it's crazy okay all right let's go ahead let's see where we're at here okay we're in the wild card game yep so okay we're in the wild card and that means we're officially going to move on to all pro first string hopefully we can get to the all uh, madden level and uh that's it for this one man i want to know what you guys think about it i will be back with more gameplay but uh, i will see you guys on the next one ending with a seven and three season record and we probably do some changes next season after this game and uh try to shore up some places i think we're gonna have to get a new running back but that's that's it for this one man this is how the lineup is currently looking and uh i think we got a pretty solid lineup i think we probably need to upgrade one more wide receiver Definitely thinking about finishing that Vontez Burfick set. Probably bring him in to do the right outside linebacker. We do still have um, Sean Lee, but I'm thinking about selling him to get some coins up. Of course, we need them coins to get you know better players and things like that. And I think we need one more cornerback. Right now, I'm running Poyer as my uh, backup. Okay, so anybody who can play me know. If you know I got Poyer back there, you probably can exploit him. But that's it for this one, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.